blood. Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Mr. No Voice. I mean, Mr. Some Voice. I mean, the voice of the show. Kind of halfway. The host. I'm Daniel Goodemo. And over there is John. He's our hey. design guy and uh, co panelist. And uh, he's also the guy that keeps me from ripping my what's left of my hair out while trying to deal with the. Uh, uh, PR side of this, well, our PR guy has uh, recovers. Uh, we haven't done a show since, so um, our PR guy is uh, Robert. Uh, he um, watches our show quite frequently on our YouTube page um, because, well, I won't explain the other side of that, but uh, he had a successful uh, knee surgery and is in recovery and should be going home tomorrow. So congratulations to Robert um, while me and John pick up some of the slack here <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but today the Admirals took on the Texas Stars um, in the first period uh, it was a bore fest <laughs> yeah the first period the Admirals um, well I'll let John read the stat line okay uh, <laughs> Texas outshot Milwaukee 12 to 6 in the first period um, in the second period, they also outshot them 16 to 14. In the third period, Milwaukee outshot Texas 16 to 11. In overtime, Milwaukee outshot Texas 2 to 1 for a total of Texas outshooting Milwaukee 40 to 39. Texas went 0 for 1 on the power play and had 12 minutes or 6 infractions. Milwaukee went 1 for 5 with 6 minutes, 3 infractions. All right, so the, the, the first period was literally penalty central, literally. Um, then the second period went uh, Frederick Carlstrom uh, scoring his first of the season with an assist from Curtis McKenzie and uh, Jared Ross Rothberg. Uh, McKenzie's fourth, Rothberg's second, Tanner Kiro. Um, with an assist from Maverick, Bork, and Riley Barber, uh, Bork's first, Kiro's first, Barber's second. Uh, Marcus Jank, or Marcus, <laughs> Mark Jankowski <laughs> scored his third with an assist from Marcus Nermy. And Spencer Stetsny of the Mequon area of Wisconsin. And uh, apparently, Playing at home, Mark Del Geisel liked. <laughs> mm. uh, he scored also in the second with an assist from Luca Evangelista, his third, and Jordan Gross, his fourth. Um, then. Uh, all right, uh, so scoring the uh, third goal for the Stars was Frederick Karlstrom, his second of the night, his second of the season with an assist from Curtis McKenzie. And Oscar Bach. It's pronounced Bach. Looks like Bach. B A C K. Um, but then on to the third. Third. In the third period, 30 seconds in was Mark Jankowski from Milwaukee, assisted by John Leonard and Luke Evangelista. Um, that's Leonard's fifth and Evangelista's fourth. That was on the power play as well. And 2.15 into the third, the Admirals get on the board again with a goal from Igor As Afanasio, um, assisted by Adam Willsby, his first, and Marcus Nermi, his second. Um, at 3.26 mark, Phil Tomasino gets on the board with the assist from Yuso Parson in his second, and Luke Evangelista, his fifth. Um, at the 12.13 mark, Texas gets on the board for, with a goal from Curtis McKenzie, Assisted by Oscar Back and Frederick Carlstrom. Um, at the 12:43 mark, Riley Barber gets on the board for Dallas uh, or Texas. <laughs> Same thing. Same <laughs> thing. But anyways, as I was saying, Riley Barber gets on the board with an assist from Tanner Kiro, his fourth. All right, well, then we go to overtime where there was no scoring. So I will turn over to the goaltenders real quick. Um, 
Devin Cooley stopped 35 of 40, and Anton Hudobin stopped 33 of 38. Both goaltenders allowing five goals against. Only one had two penalty minutes. Devin. I'm just kidding. I, I mean that in all jokingness, though. Um, then we go to a shootout where uh, the Admiral shot first, and it was uh, Jordan Gross off of a sick goal. Get it? Ha, 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 ha. Mm -hmm. That was punny. Um, and uh, that puts the Admirals in the lead for the shootout. Uh, Antonio Strange, he gets um, denied by... Uh, Cooley. Uh, Luke Evangelista goes up, and I don't know what he was thinking. He just kind of just pushed it into uh, Udovin's hands. Um, and Tanner Kiro scores off of a forehand backhand uh, during the shootout. Uh, then Cole Snyder can't answer. Then Riley Barber can't put us away. So Tommy Novak comes out and uh, scores. And Frederick Karlstrom Denied Admirals win in the shootout, but not taking anything away from Frederick Carls from your three stars of the game, third star of the game, Mark Del Geyser with a goal. Second star of the game was Frederick Carls from for Texas with two goals and an assist. That's a heck of a night. And and, and were they the home team, he would have been first star. Um, yeah. That's because Mark Jankowski with two goals isn't enough. I don't think to warrant that. However, Luke Evangelista's three assists. That comes in big. Um, it was nice to see Phil Thomasino, Phil Thomasino score a goal, let alone shoot the puck. Um, keep doing that, or you'll be hearing from me on this show again, where you're sitting there playing with it like you're in the bathroom instead of shooting the puck like you're playing hockey. Um, for any of you that watch our show, know that I'm an old hockey fan, and that is an old saying. Um, that saying actually goes back to the 1940s. Um, so uh, there you go. Um, so <laughs> it's it's quite old. <laughs> uh, the first time um it was on record of someone saying it is in the 1940s at a hockey game. Um, your parents always kind of joked with you about that and you know as a kid for boys so if if you learn um later in life that sometimes things are acceptable given the circumstance we're not talking about it in a perverted manner we're talking about it in a manner of you have to do your job every night now outtake from this game before we get into our breakdown versus Belvu who we have not seen since 2019. Um, which we never actually got to play our home games against them because of COVID. So, unfortunately. Um, we did play two road games against them. Um, but let's talk about this a little bit because this game, um, winning in a shootout, um, especially when you have the lead, at a point in the game, and they come back late in the game. And then you go into overtime, and they take advantage of, the, you know, they get puck possession early, and they get a shot on net, and Cooley makes a really good save. Um, That kind of boosted the guys to just stay in Texas's zone the entire overtime. Yeah. I mean, they were in there. It was just one thing I was yelling, and that shoot the dang puck. Yeah, but, I felt like they held on to it a little long throughout the game again. But at the same time, it's like, okay, I understand you're trying to get the shot that's going to get you the goal. But how about you take, the, like, I, I remember one time I was like, I saw a guy pinching, like a guy was shooting from the left side. And where he shot that puck, I'm like, you could have shot it another three little, that little, to the other side, a little more over, and it would have bounced right to your teammate. Right. So, so trust me, hockey fans, we trust algebra to do our job for us. 
We never thought algebra would come in handy until you find out that you need it for two things, hockey and pool. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, uh, beyond that, I, I think it's a good chemistry thing. You got to battle. You really got to yeah. dig deep and battle. And in a long game like this, with a small crowd, which we made it sound very loud. You're welcome. I'm. That's why my voice is a lower ass beat. <laughs> uh -huh. um you know uh we we do our best here in milwaukee i wish i could get down to nashville more to be part of that fan base as much as i'm a part of this one unfortunately in this world this speaks more than what's in here so um sometimes i'm not referring that to any organization i'm referring that to uh our uh, finances. <laughs> uh -huh. um, so there's that. Um, I will be, we will be back tomorrow with the Preds and the Blues. Um, and then on Friday, we have the Admirals in Bellevue. And then on Saturday, we have the Admirals and Wolves and the Preds and Capitals. Um, so the Admirals all time versus Bellevue are two and oh. Uh, Bellevue's top scorers are uh, Luke Lucian. Um, he has two goals, seven assists, nine points. Uh, Igor Sokolov. Has one goal, six assists, seven points. Uh, Cole Reinhardt, uh, two goals, three assists, five points. Jace Harlow, two goals, three assists, five points. He actually used to play for the Moose. Um, and Roy Cortier, uh, three goals, one assist, four points. The Admirals point leaders at the current moment are Luca Vangelista, one goal, five assists. Martin Jankowski, four goals, one assist. <laughs> Uh, John Leonard, uh, five assists. Jordan Gross, four assists for four points. And Marcus Nermi with a one goal, two assists, and three points. So it literally reads off one, two, three. Um, the um, Bellevue is two and three on their season to start. Um, this game is a seven o'clock puck drop. Um, the one thing when I look at these this early in the year, um, one is the power play away and the penalty killing away. Um, the uh, penalty killing on away for them is at 73.33%. Um, and the power play is at 33.33%. .33%. Um, they're a little better on the power play. They have way more goals scored, and their away record is better than their home record. The Admirals are one and one in both categories. So let's see if we can't like go a little more this way instead of going that way, kind of thing. Right. Um, show guys why you want to be the next guy called up. Uh, everybody should play for each other. Selflessness goes a long way with management. Yeah. Um, you wouldn't think it, but sometimes guys are, are a little puck hoggish. I can think of a few names on our team, but that's besides the point. <laughs> um, anyway, um, you know, good game, good turnout. Um, it was cool to be part of the Admirals uh, Day of the Dead again. Uh, that coming back, uh, I always like it. It's cool to have it. Um, shows the diversity in our community here in Milwaukee. Um, outside of that, um, Come on out Friday as we play Bellevue. And uh, if you buy the Admiral, there's a ticket package out, I believe, for this game called Hocktoberfest. Um, it's the same weekend as Oktoberfest. And um, 
you could get a beer mug with an Admirals logo on it, and I think it's either a ticket or two tickets to the game. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. I don't have the pamphlet in front of me. Um, double checking that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> um, in other news, Uh, the, as we play the Blues tomorrow, they lose to Edmonton today, so they have to play a back-to-back. -back. Um, I would like to, huh? I'm, I'm very confused on that. That was a news report. that um isn't make it doesn't make any sense um i i would like to say also uh a quick kind of tip of the cap to uh wisconsin native phil kessel who broke the nhl iron man streak uh yesterday so a little to you because that's a heck of a thing. Um, 900 straight games. Couch. I, I, I couldn't imagine doing it. I couldn't go imagine going one game where I don't have an injury or getting benched or something. Right. So, all righty, folks. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, as it is 11 o'clock, if this is not uploaded today, enjoy your Thursday and good morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, hockey locker.